Uh, speaking of really serious and sad stuff, a number of you wrote to me about Roseanne Barr's interview with Piers Morgan. And again, there's this question of we have someone who is very obviously mentally ill and she is being put in a position to weigh in on political issues and, and give opinions. And is it is Piers Morgan doing something wrong by uh, exploiting, in a sense, Roseanne Barr's very obvious mental illness? I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. Take a listen to this. Uh, Piers Morgan invites Roseanne Barr on the show, uh, presumably would give her an opportunity. You know, she, she said that her Holocaust denial statements were a joke and she was offered the opportunity to kind of follow up on that. And it goes really poorly. Take a look at this. I'm curious why you don't think the election will actually happen. I mean, it's 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 going to happen, isn't it? I don't think it will happen. I, I think that America is uh, on the verge of something uh, because it's just too divided. And, uh, you know, they keep trying to amp up the, uh, um, trying to demonize half the population through the media. And I think they're doing that for a reason because maybe, and I think they're bringing in all these millions of people to vote because the American people ain't gonna vote for Biden. Obviously, it's not happening that millions of people are being brought in to vote. Anyone you bring in wouldn't be a citizen. They wouldn't be able to vote even if they wanted to, even if that plan was happening, which it's not. So they got to bring in voters from all over the world and they're recruiting them. You know, they're actually flying them right. from other countries, South America. If you'll like Google it, you'll find out they're fly They're recruiting them in countries south of the border and flying them from there to here to certain districts. And then I think they're going to try to give mass amnesty to them so they can vote for Biden. You know, they're on the payroll. You understand that even if you get amnesty for being in the United States undocumented, that still isn't citizenship. You still don't get to vote. You can't register to vote. This is just a slightly more deranged version of what Trump and MAGA Mike Johnson were recently saying. And um, I mean, you know, look, look, I, what I would say about that, Roseanne, look, that you, look, you're saying a lot of want that. Well, I, I would say this. You're saying a lot of things which are not substantiated. I know these are theories that people are putting out there. But the one thing I would say about it is that Trump's popularity with his. I pat just heard them su substantiated by four sources okay, no, no, yesterday. I'm just, Last night I stayed up I'm all a, night. I'm about to make a so point though. She was up all night Googling, guys. Substantiated. Okay, I'm about to make it was a, part of the questioning of I'm about to make a wider point. Mayorkas. Which is Tr Trump's support with Hispanics and with black Americans is rising sharply. He doesn't need this. Thank God. Yeah, but, it, but <laughs> it, it, they don't need, you know. No, they're not here to vote for Trump. Mm. They're here to vote for Biden. Mm. Hello, this is a Democrat Party operation. So as you can see, she's totally confused. I mean, it doesn't matter what you say. This is an extraordinarily confused, confused uh, individual. And uh, a number of people saying there there's something here that is is just not really working right. Here's another moment where she insisted that Jill Biden was Joe Biden's babysitter or something? I guess this is some other conspiracy theory they have. It's a very sick woman. Do you think Jill Biden should be doing more to protect him? Yeah, she's oblivious. She is, uh, you know, what you get when you get a trophy wife, when, you know, you meet her when she's your 15-year-old babysitter. You're going to probably say that's not correct to knowing you. But it is true, and you can Google everything I say because I don't lie. There I get go. four sources. Well, you may have four sources, but what you just said is actually not true. That that Jill, that Jill Biden was the was Biden's babysitter when she was fifteen. Yeah, that is not true. You're saying that ain't true. Not true. Okay, get on Google <laughs> and let. Roseanne, you can't know. believe you cannot believe everything you read on Google. <laughs> Okay, people, let Pierce know. Send him the Google. All right, you you guys get it. This uh, so let me know what you think. Is is Piers Morgan doing something ethically or morally wrong by giving Roseanne Barr airtime when she is clearly in such a compromised state? I guess is the way that I would ask it.
Let me know what you think. Info at David And this applies to some people we've interviewed as well. It's hard to know where you draw the line when they want to be interviewed and claim to have things to say. There was recently a huge data breach at T-Mobile. Thirty seven million customers personal data was exposed and the data stays online forever and for anyone to access. And the number of data breaches in the US is increasing by about 80 percent. It is not getting any better. That's why it is so important to use a VPN anytime you connect to the Internet, changes your IP address, makes you anonymous. The only VPN I trust is private Internet access. The only major VPN that is demonstrated in legal cases, they do not possess your Internet activity and the software is open source for the world to verify. When a company like T-Mobile or Verizon gets hacked and you were using a VPN, your data still gets leaked, but it's associated with a fake IP address, essentially not linkable to you. Private Internet access is optimized for streaming and file sharing without the lag and buffering you get with other VPNs. And one of my favorite things about a VPN is being able to access streaming content not normally available in my country like UK Netflix. Get private Internet access for 83 percent off. That's just 203 a month plus four extra months for free. Go to PIAVPN.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.